So this is the weight I'm going to dangle here from the balance. And it's going to be inside of this cup. It's a vacuum uh, double walled steel cup. And in there you can see the superconducting, the superconductor puck, the YBCO. And underneath that is a big neodymium magnet. So just to give you a close-up view there, you see the nylon, the nylon rod there, the nylon round bar is suspended a couple centimeters above the YBCO puck there. So what I'm going to do is pour the liquid nitrogen. I'm going to take this out, pour the nitrogen in, and then quickly put this back. And then put the balance output in continuous mode, which sends a reading about every four and a half, uh, about four and a half times a second. So we'll, we'll be able to capture uh, a spike of of weight change here. Okay, now reading continuously on the balance. I don't know if um, it actually went superconducting, so I'll pour a bit more in here very carefully. I'm being very careful not to pour it on the nylon, and I don't think I did. In the first test, um, doing this uh, actually wasn't this exact one, but I was using this instead of the nylon. Same kind of thing, suspended over top of the super conducting puck. And um, so when I poured the liquid nitrogen in the cup, and I looked at the data later, there was some there were some sharp transitions, a number of them over the couple of minutes when I was cooling it down with the nitrogen. And then I left it all night. So it was just the nitrogen would just boil away over the course of a few hours or a couple hours. Um, and then I just left the thing just suspended over the, the YBCO puck and the magnet. Left it suspended all night and I got readings all night long and there was a, a sharp transition. I'll show the graph. There's a sharp transition where uh, all of a sudden the weight of this thing decreased uh, after about a about 110 minutes in. So I think it's because the it crossed the critical temperature point and it no longer was superconducting. And at that transition point, there was a uh, a sudden change in in the uh, the coupling between. I'm not really sure how to explain it uh, at this point, but uh, there was a definite transition in the in the weight of this brass rod being suspended. And I read some things from. Um, Dr. Martin Tamar's paper 
Yeah, where he, a few years ago, he was experimenting with rotating niobium superconductors, type 1 superconductors, in liquid helium. And what they found was, as soon as it uh, crossed the critical temperature, which was just like a few degrees Kelvin, that they detected a gravitational acceleration around it. Because they had accelerometers placed nearby the superconductor, and they were able to detect these little acceleration spikes when uh, it crossed its critical temperature. In other words, when it became superconducting. I was also thinking about trying this copper tube instead of the nylon, but I, I wanted to be careful not to have any effects due to uh, paramagnetism in the copper or any kind of induction effects or whatnot. So I thought nylon would, nylon would be a good choice here. So the liquid nitrogen looks like it's boiled away. And most likely it's not superconducting anymore. But I don't know for sure. So I'm going to leave it a few minutes. I'm actually going to try this one more time. Because I don't know if it actually got super conducting. But I'm going to make sure. Looks like there was a big surge there. Huh. 9.9, .9, yeah, it's jumps up there. It's like it's gained a whole gram. I am not touching the thing with the ladle. And the liquid is not touching the nylon either. When I said thing, I, I meant uh, the nylon bar. It's boiling pretty good there. Ninety two point nine nine. It looks like it's gained almost a gram. Ninety two point nine nine ninety three point zero zero grams. See that? Now I want to see what happens. After that nitrogen boils away and it goes back to or crosses over the critical temperature. Still at 93. Very stable. Looks 
this might take a few minutes. Camera. So it's starting to disappear. It's almost all boiled away. Well, let's see what happens to the readings on the on the balance there. See if there's any sudden change. That's quite a big jump right there, what you just saw. It should increase a little bit and then it will drop down again. And at that point, I think that's when it crosses its critical temperature and becomes an ordinary ceramic. That is something that doesn't conduct electricity. Yeah, that's a fairly substantial increase right there from where I started. Hmm. 